Hi everybody, today I'll show you how to customize checkout page in WooCommerce Elementor. So let's begin. Alright, so to customize the checkout page, first of all, I'm going to go inside the pages and click on the all pages. Alright, so here you can see that we have the checkout page. So I will click on the edit here. Alright, so here you will be able to see the short code of our uh, checkout page here. So we can do the two things here. Either we can directly edit this page into the Elementor. Or the second thing is that what we can do, we can simply copy the short code of the checkout, WooCommerce checkout, and put this into the new page. Okay. So I'm going to go here with the second option. So let's copy this and let's go back into the pages. Click on the add new page. All right. So now we're going to simply write down the name here that is checkout page. All right. So I'm going to add the text here so that we can differentiate between the first one and the second one. So this will be customized all right so now let's click on edit with elementor all right so here the first thing that i need to do here so we're gonna use that text editor here so I just drag this and put this here and now you will be able to see the text here so here we just have to paste the short code that we have copied earlier from our checkout page so let's paste the value here and let's click here and now you'll be able to see our checkout section okay that we have on our checkout page all right, so now let's just customize this. Okay, so before that, I'm gonna add one more container here. So let's add one more container. This will be the single column structure. And I will drag this at the top. Perfect. And here what I need to do, I actually have to add the heading here of the checkout. Perfect, so let's put this into the center. And let's just go into the content. Write down the checkout here, and obviously, if you wanted to change the text color and the typography from here, you can do this. Okay, so right now I'm gonna change the background color of the container. So let's click on the container here. The first thing that I need to do here is to add the min height. So let's just go here with 300 px, and I will need to put our heading into the center. So for that, we have to click on here, justify content. Perfect. Alright, so now let's just change the background color of the container. Alright, so let's click on this style. Click on the background tab. That will be the classic. Add the color here. And let's just go here with the dark blue color. Alright, so this is looking good. But now what we have to do, we have to change the text color here. So let's click on the text. And here we have to change the text color here. So this will be white. Now this is looking okay. So one thing that I need to do here that I will need to create the space here on our second container. Okay. So let's click here on the second container. Go into the advanced. And here I have to add the margin at the top. So let's just go here with the 50 px. Now this is looking good. Or we can go here with maybe 70 px or 80 px. Alright. So this is looking better. Alright. So after adding the space from the top. So now what I need to do. I have to click on the text editor. First, I will do the background color here. So how can we add this? That is simple. So let's go inside the advanced setting. And here you can see the option of the background here. So let's add the background color here. Okay, so I would go here with kind of, not this one. So let's just go here with light color. All right, so I think this will look good. And we will need to go this color, a kind of bluish color. All right, so this is looking perfect. And now what I need to do, I have to add the border. So in the border, first I need to choose the value here to the solid. And the border width would be 0. Because I only wanted to add the border radius. So here you will be able to see the effect of the border radius. So I would add 50 px from the each side. Or maybe we can go here with 40. Or let's say we can go here with the 20. Now this is looking good. And what we can do here. We can go into the layout again. Let's just add the padding to the 50px from the each side. Now this is looking good. And we have the border radius. Alright, so this is looking perfect. So what we can do here, we'll simply add the box shadow as well. So let's click on the border again. And you can see the option of the box shadow here. So I'll just simply click on this. This will basically add the box shadow. But if you want to change the values of the box shadow here from the horizontal, vertical, blur and the split, you can simply do this. But I will keep the values like this and we also have the color as well. So if you want to change the color, you can also do this. 
but I will keep the values like this. All right. And after this, what I need to do here, I actually want to change the font style here. So for that, we will need to go here into the style. And here, what we can do here, we can simply change the font family from here. So we can go with the default value. We can go here with Vada, and you can also choose any other value, whatever you want to choose. So I'm gonna go here with the default value. That is looking good. And you can also change the text color here. You can also put the text into the center. And obviously this is not looking good. So we have to put this onto the left side. So this is how we can customize the checkout page. All right, so I think this is enough for right now. So let's click on update. So now what we need to do, we actually have to go back to the WordPress dashboard. All right, so as you can see here, we have our page checkout customize. Okay, so now one thing that we need to do here. So if I just go into our WooCommerce tool and here, if I just click on our add to cart or the cart here, you'll be able to see we have the product here. Okay. And now if I just click on proceed to checkout here, you will be able to see that we are actually going back to our default checkout page. So how can we set our new checkout page onto this one? So that is really easy. We have to go back into our WordPress dashboard, click on the WooCommerce here, and here you have to click on the settings. So here in the settings, you have to go inside the advanced settings. All right, so here you'll be able to see the option of the checkout page. So we have to click on this. And here we have to write down the name of the checkout. And now you will be able to see the checkout customized here. That is basically our page. So I'm going to simply click on this. And here let's click on save changes. All right, so now let's go back to our checkout page. And here we have to click on the card again. Now let's click on proceed to checkout. And now you will be able to see our customized checkout page here. All right. So this is how it is looking. And this is how we can customize the checkout page in Elementor. So if you really find this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.